It's May 22nd. I thought I'd show some updates for the garden. We've had rain now for two, three days. We actually had a tornado a couple days ago. And uh, this is where we're at. So still got all the you know, beautiful white flowers going on here in the back. And I'm, I think I'm going to try to get some more of these to, uh, to, to fill in there or figure out how to transplant some. I really like these quite a bit. Some of them have a, actually kind of a pink hue to them, which I think is kind of cute. Yeah, the plants from last winter that just didn't survive are still here. Uh, sad and tragic in many ways. Uh, <clears throat> I'm getting the, uh, uh, the umbrella out here soon. I want to you know, try to take care of the weeds before I put that out. The, uh, this was the first of the Chinese wisteria to come out, and we're getting some good growth. And I also have some, some fresh uh, stalks that are coming up out of the ground, so that's, that's great. And I'm going to twist those up and in through, the, uh, in through the trellis down low to try to bolster that trellis some. This is the second wisteria. that It started sprouting uh, growth about a Gosh, maybe uh, two weeks, three weeks after the first one started. Uh, maybe closer to two weeks. And it looks like uh, this is the furthest it's gone, so this other growth is probably going to have to die back. And here's the third one, which I'm still waiting for it. And it looks as though we might get some growth here. So I'm... I'm I'm optimistic that it's going to come back to life. Uh, yeah, you think to yourself, man, I've, it's going to be a lot of digging to get this thing out if it's, if it's dead. Uh, but I, I think it's just slow. And if I remember right, uh, a couple of these, they it might have even been this one. It didn't, uh, it didn't come back to life until uh, uh, last year, until almost mid-June. Uh, the uh, lilacs have bloomed. Uh, this one was quite nice, had a, had a nice uh, vanilla aroma to it. The white ones, they're not particularly fragrant. It has a very light scent. It, it's, it's, uh, it has the sweet scent of, of, of lilac, but not the, the flowery scent. And here is our, uh, you know, little purple and they're about to open up. They've, they've got buds on them and I've got a few little flowers that are open but not, not others yet so I'm looking forward to seeing what they smell like. The hydrangea is not yet back. It still feels green so I'm, I'm hopeful that it survived the winter. Again I have no idea but and here's that little plant that the uh, rabbits ate down, well, they ate it down again. So every time the sprouts come up, uh, the rabbits eat it back. So I'm, I'm going to have to put a fence up here, I guess, which is a darn shame. Boxwoods in bloom. So uh, the uh, the lemon and the, and the lime trees, uh, you know, they're not particularly happy being outside after being inside for so long, but they, they will come back. So this, uh, this lime tree, I've got some fresh growth coming out and here as well. So I'll have to cut it back. Same thing, this this lemon tree, I've got fresh growth. So the big leaves, I'm gonna I'm gonna trim those back probably today. This guy, I don't see any fresh growth on, but I, I'm sure it's, it's still doing okay. It's, it's got solid roots, and I'll, I'll, I'll trim that back. I had some problems with the, the cold weather. Uh, this was a rubber plant that, when they got down to below 40, all the leaves curled up, and I'm, I'm afraid that it's, it's toast. Same thing, the Brazilian, uh, Brazilian rain tree, I'm gonna have to trim it back. It still has some leaves, but the cold weather this May and, and uh, 
I guess it's late April, early May, has just really been tough. And this is a, a bulb off of a, a ponytail palm. So it's it's got some uh, growth. It, it did handle the cold actually pretty well, but uh, well, we'll see where that goes. The succulents are looking great. Uh, so this ice plant is absolutely gorgeous, and I, I hope it uh, hope it survives this next winter and it gets itself dug in. Uh, I've got two new ice plants that I want to plant here, I think. So I'll have both uh, purple and uh, yellow flowers. And then I got this little guy, which is called uh, Little Raspberry. It's also a, a succulent of, of some type, and I thought that I would put it in here next to this uh, little guy that's starting to produce little, little uh, balls on it for uh, propagating. So I'm hoping that we get some get some uh, legs on that and we start getting a little more propagation. The the parent is, is fairly well established now. It's just I can't seem to get the, the little ones to, to take off. It's time for me to come out and spray for this grass or touch it up. I just need a, a morning that is uh, fairly uh, cool and uh, without wind for it to, to clean that up. And the herbs are also doing quite well, uh, except for the basil. So I, I bought some additional basil plants and I'm going to put these put these in and around. Uh, I still have you know one sprout of basil here and then this one's got a couple sprouts left. I don't know what killed these but well anyway I bought replacements and the, my hope is I can get to some some basil growing so that this summer it'll it'll take off. I need to take care of the lawn here. I've got my uh, I've got my uh, trimmer in the back of the truck so I'll I'll take that out and uh, work on that later. The figs are coming along nicely. We still have the uh, the figs kind of growing and uh, the leaves We've got some new growth down here at the bottom looks like Kinda, uh, well, I had some new growth. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, I bought some new mulch because I'm going to put more mulch in here. Uh, Clematis is doing very well. I'm actually getting some bridging here between the two the two trellises, so I'm excited about that. And here I've got a flower that's about ready to come out. So this flower should open up any day now. And these, these almost look like little lilacs. I don't know for certain. I have never seen any uh, flowers on them. I've been here three, four years. So I suppose uh, putting a little, little fertilizer went a long way to... Uh, getting some type of flowering going. <clears throat> and then over here, uh, I've planted, well, first off, this little bush is coming back and it looks like it's gonna, you know, make it. You know, if we can get some, some good growth this summer, it'll uh, get established and make it through the next winter just fine. I've planted uh, kind of a uh, Japanese maple forest here. Uh, this is a Japanese uh, blood good. So it will get up to maybe 20 foot high and if I if I trim it right it should it should fit in this spot fairly well. I'll, I'll uh, try to trim it so that it has upper upper branches. Uh, same thing with these others as well uh, except for the one back here. In the back this is a uh, oh, what is it called? a dwarf uh, maple of some sort. Uh, I can't remember the exact name, but it's it's a miniature version, so that one should uh, stay low, and it you know, prefers a shade, so if it gets in the shade of these others, it'll do well. This is a uh, green Japanese maple, and I'm going to 
gonna come down here and trim these lower branches off at some point to try to get some upper growth. And this, this one I think is gorgeous. This is a uh, coral bark maple. And this one I should be able to get some decent growth on. Uh, relatively tall, and if I trim it right, I'll, I'll get some some uh, branching out. But I, I think it's a very beautiful uh, bark on this tree. And then I also have picked up some uh, sweet potatoes, and I, I'm thinking about uh, different vining options for how I want to plant these. And unfortunately, they're annuals, which is kind of disappointing. I, I thought that they were perennials, or they would at least regrow themselves and I, I, I thought about planting them under the maples but that's that's not gonna work out so I, I need to come up with a new solution there I would like to get maybe some Japanese spurge or something that I can I can plant in here uh, the spurge likes it will like the shade and uh, it's a self-propagating plant so it should should do fairly well uh, the spurge at the house in Ames, and uh, after years of, of work, has finally taken over around the old oak tree and is absolutely gorgeous. The uh, bleeding heart plant has seems like it's it's gotten itself situated finally, and it's, it seems fairly happy here. And then I just picked up this little uh, little plant it's called a forest flame, or Forest Flame Pyrus, and it's going to have a, a red new growth, and uh, it should fit in this spot fairly well. It's going to be a, oh, a partial shade, partial sun plant, and I think that's going to be kind of this whole this whole region if I can get some some growth. And that's uh, the state of the garden. So. I'll post another update in a couple of weeks.